a quick run through with everything that you can do basically with an added table. Okay, so my DB grid over here with a button, toys. When I click on the button toys, I'm going to filter it according to the category uh, only to show the children toys. And then I'm going to set the filtered property to true. Okay, so it will only show, it will filter it according to the children toys category. With order, I'm going to sort it according to, to the price field. And it's going to be sorted uh, descending order. Okay, so you can specify ascending or descending. If you want it in ascending, you can just say price and then by default it will uh, sort it according to uh, sort it in ascending order. Next one, a price. So you can enter price and spin edit. When you click on the price, it will only show you the items where the price is bigger than the value entered into the spin edit. So again, it's another filter property, filter setting that you can set to make it like 50. Will only display the items where the price is bigger than 50. Okay, I'm using Adu oh, data model. Um, all these settings, it's actually like filter. Remember, it's on the table, the Adu table. I filtered, and the sort is always also here, so you can basically filter it in this table as well you can say your price is equals to 150 or bigger than 50 something like that okay then the find better known as the locate rather okay so to use the locate you must add the db unit under the users okay so you must remember to add the db unit the locate works like this you say table name dot locate then the field name that you are looking for i want to search for something in the item field then the second parameter is i uh, am um, going to look for whatever the guy typed into edit search dot text this is this edit box of here and i like a uh, l o case insensitive just tells us this will not be case sensitive Allo partial key means that it will be um, even a partial match will give back the result. So if he finds it, I'm going to display a message it was found. That name that the guy was looking for was found. Else, I'm going to show message or message I look not found. So let's say uh, I'm searching for an item. I'm searching for an item. And let's make it Teddy. Teddy was found, and you will see that it's actually at that position over there. Let's make Ted. Okay, Ted was found. Of course, it's also a partial key. Okay, the insert one. When I go to the insert tab sheet, there's different modes. So when I go to that tab sheet, I put it into insert mode. Okay, I'll put it in insert mode. Tab sheet two. As soon as it's showed, uh, I put it in insert mode. And then when I enter something into this um, field, I can do the following. I can just post. That post will write it to the database. Uh, I'm using a try and accept to check whether some anything went wrong. If nothing went wrong, I, I display a message. Just notifying the user that the update was successful. Delete is easy one. You just browse to the field or the record that you want to uh, delete, and then you can use this line of coding. So table dot delete. But what I did is I asked the guy a question. Are you sure you want to delete? Gave him an option of a button, okay, and a cancel. If the message result is equals to OK. That means that the user clicked on the OK button, then I will delete it out of the table, else I will not delete it. 
update when I go to update mode I change my data uh, set to edit mode over here made it edit and then when I click on update I'm just going to post so basically it's going to post the changes again try and accept if it's successful no errors I just message dialog update successful and I exit I don't run the rest of the coding if something went wrong it's not gonna do um, if something went wrong it's gonna do this coding over here it's not gonna continue if everything went well it's gonna show update successful okay, and last one is to basically the user is going to select a category in the combo box and then I'm going to run through my add table I'm going to start with the first one and I'm going to run through them while the add table is not at the end of the file so when I reach the end of the table this while loop will stop then I say if whatever the guy chose in the combo box is equals to the same category then I'm going to add that price to the total and I'm going to count how many of them are there that's why I initialized I total to zero and I count to zero so I want to get the total price of a specific category and I will also want to count how many of them are there so now I'm taking the total divided by count getting my R average and then I'm going to display total for this category are our total because I added all of them over here and I only added uh, where the category was the same as what the user selected in the combo box so I didn't add all of them only where the category was the same and then with a total of a uh, number of records with an average price of our average which I calculated over there.